interpreting exact test results in SPSS. What kind of output does an exact test in SPSS yield? And how do we interpret it? Well, let's see. Let's run the syntax that we've created to do an exact test on a cross tabulation. Here is the output. First, we are informed about the number of cases. We got 50 cases, all cases have been used. Right. Then we got a cross tabulation itself, and if we inspect it, we can already see that the blue, green, and orange candies have relatively you know, high proportions of sticky candies, whereas the proportions of non sticky candies are higher among the red and the yellow candies. So there seems to be an association. If we go down, we see the chi square test table. The first number is the Pearson chi square, which is the ordinary chi square. And if we go down a little bit, we see Fisher's exact test. And this is the test result that we need. There is a value to the exact test, and then there is a lot of nothing. And the only thing that we're informed is the p value for a two sided text. It's 0.01, and that's smaller than 0.05, so we will probably conclude that there is a statistically significant association between candy color and candy stickiness. Finally, the measures of association tell us that there is quite a strong association between stickiness and color. And from the cross tabulation, and we have seen that you know, the red and the yellow candies tend not to be sticky, whereas the blue, green and orange candies tend to be sticky. Basically, we just interpret the cross tabulation, and the only thing the exact test gives us is a more reliable p-value. Well, that's all. See you in the next video.